23 minutes now past the hour. Welcome back to the Daily Buzz. Hey, if you've got allergies, chances are you are suffering right about now. Here to help you dry out and clear the air is the national spokesperson for the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, Angel Waldron. Good morning, Angel. Hi, Andy. Good morning. I, now, I, I asked you during the commercial, and I was shocked to find out that you yourself were suffering from some allergy symptoms last night, uh, which I wouldn't think, you know, that someone who heads the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America would ever suffer from allergies. But even you, Angel, you come down with these symptoms. How do we, how do we tackle this? Well, we are right in the middle of spring allergy season. People are suffering all over the country. We just released our list of allergy capitals and Knoxville came in at number one, but wow. um, we're, we're dealing with it right now. So uh, groups like AFA are here to help you. We've got tons of tips on our website at AFA.org about what you can do to reduce your exposure. Uh, things like staying indoors between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. when pollen counts are highest. Right. Uh, but if you do go out, make sure you remove your, your shoes and your clothing when you come in so you don't bring that outdoor problem indoors. Good one. Uh, hardwood floors are best uh, to reduce your exposure to dust oh, mites. Oh, don't say but that, please. My carpeting. wife has been begging me for new hardwood floors, <laughs> and now you're going to give her one more reason. All right, go ahead. I know, but uh, if you do have carpeting, make sure you have a certified asthma and allergy friendly vacuum like the Dyson. Uh, HEPAs are, are great, but they're not enough. You want to make sure that it has a hygienic bin so when you empty it, you don't uh, expose yourself to those allergens. And if you're dealing with coughs or uh, sore, scratchy throats, a cough drop like Halls is great for that. It starts working within 10 seconds. So uh, visit our website. We've got tons of tips and information for folks right now. How, how is it that you can tell? Because I know sometimes people have a hard time telling the difference between bad allergies and a cold. Yes, that's a common problem. So if you're experiencing symptoms for more than 10 days, it's not a cold. It's going to be allergies. And also, if you have a fever, that would be a cold or flu. That would not be allergies. So uh, go visit a physician so you can get an allergy test and make sure that you're, you're fighting the right thing or it'll be a losing battle for you. Get that allergy test first and foremost. Now, on a personal note, I have a, an allergic reaction to celebrity gossip, but I love my co-host, Brandi Williams, and I want to spend more time with her. How do I deal with that? <laughs> um, I'm not sure, but I think if you visit our website, we can help you deal okay, with those. Even that's on your website. Symptoms. You have a very, very uh, <laughs> wonderful <laughs> website there. Angel, thank you so much. I'm sure that you're going to bring relief to a lot of folks out there suffering with the allergies this spring. Head to dailybuzznow.com. Click on the Rebuzz tab.